the heck is going on everybody? Welcome back to Ripping Packs. It is. And on this day, I kind of go, what the F? Like, what am I opening? And I open up something weird or I don't know what I'm opening. Like, it'll be a value pack of something I don't know or it'll be something weird and random. And today is no different. It's still in the world of sports. And it's still actually in the world of baseball. But it's something we see all the time. We go, man, I would never waste my money on that. Well, guess what I did? So maybe you don't have to. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the 100 baseball cards in one pack from CVS. I bought it. And we're gonna see what we get. Hi there, I'm Craig Michelson. And I just got back into the hobby after more than 15 years away. Join me as I reconnect with the hobby one pack at a time. Now let's rip some packs. Okay, everybody, so I decided that I would be a guy who would buy something for the channel so you guys can see what I get. What is it? It's the it's from uh, Fairfield, which was Excel Marketing, which actually still is. 100 baseball cards in one pack. It doesn't even say it's a hobby pack. One and four contain a hit. I'm probably going to get one of the three that doesn't. It's probably going to be junk wax. Uh, cards and era it's probably gonna be a crappy pack that I wouldn't even pay a quarter for but you know it is what it is so I picked this up at CVS uh, a while back I've been meaning to open it for this special occasion you know what the F Wednesday and me knowing baseball I'm probably gonna do okay with most of these guys but you never know uh, be but before we even open this click that like click that subscribe and click that notification bell you do that, you'll see me open up some cool stuff. You know, tomorrow I'm going to do a Throwback Thursday episode and I'm going to open up some 2012 Bowman because I actually like that. It's a totally I would have collected it if I was in the hobby back then and now I'm kind of making amends with packs of the past and trying to get back some of those things I would have bought that I didn't buy because I was totally out of the hobby at that point. Yeah. Anyway, ripping packs. Box in this instance, 2000, uh, not even 2000, it's just random. CVS, got it for like thing like eight bucks. But anyway, here we go. Ripping packs, three, two, one, and go. Oh, here we go. It is completely glued together. So a little something in case you didn't know with a lot of these packs is um, these are completely thrown together from Excel, like a bunch of random singles. When I worked for the company, anytime people would open up packs of cards, I'm just going to do a bottom screw this. Anytime people would open up cards in the store, like at a Target or whatever, we would have to return the product. And a lot of times that's probably where this ended up. Is it? I don't know, but we'll find out. Um, sometimes it's damaged, sometimes it's great, sometimes they bought it from another company. I don't know. So what are we going to get here? We got, we'll go through our cards. Now I'm just going to go bottom down. Oh, our pack is 2019 opening day. Oh, wow. Um, aren't we all blessed with the goodness that's going to come out of this? We'll open that at the end. But I'm just going to use this camera up here Hi. Uh, for most of my cards unless it's a hit or I have a story to tell. Which, you never know. I have plenty of stories to tell. Alright, let's go. We got Denny Martinez. Brian Harvey of the Angels. They got a lot of his autographs back in the day. Sid Fernandez of the Mets. George Foster, baseball greats. A swell. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, one of those, you know, regional cards. I'm gonna throw in the hip pile because he's he was he was a beast when he played. I'm, that's how bad the hip pile might be. It might be guys who are really cool in the regional team area. We know, we don't know. Are we gonna get a hit? I don't know. There is a card that's sleeved, I will say that, so we'll find out. Uh, Rolando Rooms. <laughs> oh yeah, center fielder for the Reds. We have Scott Hatterberg for the uh, for the Red Sox with the Chrome. Uh, anybody of you who's seen Moneyball, uh, Scott Hatterberg was who the first baseman was based off of. He was played by uh, Chris Pratt. Scott Hatterberg is a real person, actually from Salem, Oregon, lives up in the Northwest. I don't know if he lives there now, but a catcher, first baseman, had a serviceable major league career. Scott Scudder for the Reds. Adam Jones, I guess this is gonna be a hit power right here. Actually shot footage for him when he played. He was actually a Mariners top prospect. He was traded to the Orioles for Eric Bedard and a handful of other guys uh, with Adam Jones though. 
Um, had a great major league career um, until he kind of like went downhill the last few seasons, but in my opinion, he was always a solid center fielder and I love watching this guy play. Adam Jones. Mike Campbell with the Mariners. Albi Lopez with some massive scratching on there. Randy Milligan for the Orioles, first baseman for them. Terry Pendleton, MVP of the Braves, formerly of the Cardinals. Reggie Sanders, I, I was actually kind of collecting this guy back in the day uh, for, for score for the Reds. I always liked this guy. He was kind of one of those like five tool guys. And by the time he made it to the major leagues, only like two of those tools worked. But hey, Greg Myers for the Angels. Franklin Stubbs for the Brew Crew. Dwayne Ward for the Blue Jays. Stan Belinda for the Pirates. Jeff Montgomery, now doing TV for the Royals, I believe, doing a play-by-play, -play, not play-by-play, -play, but color commentary for them. Then we have Gene Nelson for the A's. We have Sean Abner for the Padres. I actually got a bunch of this guy's autographs. He was the number one overall pick by the New York Mets, I want to say in 84. Oh, wow, that did not work out for them, or for him, to be honest with you. Then we have Take, uh, Takahashi Kashawada, never heard of this guy. Mark Leiter, brother of Al Leiter. Bernie Williams, I guess that's a hit. Um, not, not a fan of the Yankees, but Bernie Williams, uh, solid center fielder. Great musician, if you didn't know, he's a flamenco guitar player. Going in hip hop, because, well, that's, again, that's what happens with these types of things. Ismail Valdez, uh, Going into my PC, but um, I could be wrong, but I think he got nailed for drug charges being a drug runner in uh, Mexico. Um, yeah, so going into the PC because he's a, he's a Dodger, but yeah. Hmm. Then we have Ricky Batalic, uh, Batalico for the Phillies, Wallace Johnson for the Expos, Keith Moreland for the Cubbies, Jose Cardinal for the Royals. I want to say this 81 tops. 81, yeah, 81. Ron Oster for the Reds. Dane Iorg. I wonder if he's any relation to Garth Iorg for the Cardinals. Bryn Smith for the Cardinals. Lee May for the Royals. Ken Maka for the 81 Donruss. John Dobson for the Montreal Expos. Then we have Mark Leonard for the Giants. Got a hit coming up, so I'm gonna pull the other cards up here in a second. We have Dyer Miller, never heard of this guy, for the Mets. Terry Steinbach for the A's, the old studio days when uh, they would do auto, you know, similarly autographs. It's actually kind of a cool card. Um, back for the A's. Uh, yeah. Then we have uh, Benito Santiago, Rookie of the Year for the Padres. Ended up having a nice little career. Didn't do much with it after like the first two or three years in the major leagues, but still pretty solid there. And then we have Elia, Elias Sosa for the Padres. Gene Mock, manager for the Angels. And we have our hit. I actually think we have a hit. Uh, we're gonna see Dave Palmer. Mickey Hatcher, former Dodger and Angel great. Uh, well, great as in he was a good player. And then we have Stan Jefferson of the Padres. Terry Kennedy, he's a manager in the minor league system for I don't know who right now, but for the Orioles, catcher, was an all-star at one point. Oh, Dimitri Young, wow. Wow, this guy. He had his whole career ahead of him, and it just went, <clears throat> yeah. Brother of Delman Young. Delman Young was the number one overall, thanks to Dimitri. Yeah. That would have been a hit about 30 years ago. We have Marcus Grissom. Remember him, played for the Brewers here, but he played for the Braves and the Expos back in the day. That's kind of a cool card, actually. League leaders with Dennis Martinez. Jose De Leon for the Cardinals. Richard Hidalgo for the Astros. Then we have Reed Nichols, Rod Nichols for the Indians. 
Ben McDonald, former number one overall to, uh, was out of LSU for the Orioles. I think he does play uh, color commentary for that network as well now. Then we have Scott Hemond. We have Hector Rivera for the Expos and Bowman. Then we have Carlos Martinez, first baseman for the Sox, White Sox that is. Tom Filler for the Brewers. Scott Sanderson for the Cubs. We have Darren Lewis for the Giants. I actually PC'd this guy when I was, you know, when I was younger. Uh, nice outfielder for them, center fielder. Had some good speed. Mike Sosha. Hey, it's junk wax, but it's going to my PC. Good old Mike Sosha, former Angels manager and uh, just an all-round great mind for the game of baseball. Let's cover up Ismail Valdez because this guy's a much better player. Tom Bernanski for the Twins. Jay Buhner, love this guy back in, back in the day. Bone, traded from the Yankees to the Mariners. That's one of those trades where the Yankees, I'm sure, wish they had back. Uh, ended up becoming just a masher for the Mariners for years. That's a hit, honestly, for me, because I like watching the guy play. Got some stuff turning around here. We have Steve Lake for the Phillies. Jose De Jesus for the Phillies. Jody Davis, catcher for the Cubs. Dave Stanton. I want to say he was a big prospect at one point for the Padres. Chris Beasley for the Angels. Billy Swift. He had a serviceable major league career, pitched for the Diamondbacks, but most of his uh, good stuff was uh, for the Mariners. Good years. Then we have Steve Finley. I actually used to have this guy's bobblehead. He was a pretty good player. Played for the Padres, played for the Astros, and he played for the Diamondbacks. Had a good, had a pretty good career as well. Dick Schofield for the Angels. Tom Lawless. I actually got a bunch of this guy's autographs when he used to collect them back in the AAA Portland Beaver days uh, for the Cardinals. Brett Saberhagen. One, if you guys are new to collecting. You will not believe how awesome this guy. You pulled a Brett Saberhagen. It was you were pulling the best pitcher in the game at that point. Him and Roger Clemens. They were awesome, and they had a, he had a great like seven-year window of being an awesome pitcher, and then he just kind of went away. <laughs> Dan Schotzeter for the Astros. Jack Voigt for the Rochester Red Wings. I don't know, I wanna say they were at that point. I don't know who they were. Were they Orioles? Okay, so the Orioles, now Orioles are in New, no, they're not Newark, they're, oh, whatever. We got Randy Stevens with the rookie, pro, Ray Stevens with the rookie prospect. Ernie Witt with the Orioles. Chris Bazio, who, this guy has had some issues lately with the, uh, you know, keeping his name out of the, you know, he's pretty much been fired from a couple of uh, staffs for being kind of a dick. Then Billy Ripken, too bad it's not the F face card. Uh, for the Orioles, now doing MLB Network commentary, commentating. Steve Farr, Keith Atherton. Wow, I am so dead on on all the junk wax. Dave Hansen, another guy I PC'd back in the day. Dodger, uh, so it's going in the PC pile. I was so high on this guy. I was like, he's going to be the next great third baseman. Yeah, that didn't happen. He's a good hitting coach, though, so if that means anything, it doesn't. Cecil Espy. Les Norman, the Royals' top prospect, pit, uh, playing for the Memphis Chicks right there. I believe that was double-A at that time. Luis Salazar. Ooh, we got some ah, tops update coming up here. We got Charlie Lay. John Christensen. I actually have this guy's autograph, too, back in the day when I was hanging out at Portland Civic Stadium, getting autographs from the AAA guys. He was playing for Calgary at that time, I believe. Neil Heaton. Mike Birkbeck. Bobby Thigpen, this guy was a, he was one of the top closers in the game. Little known fact, he actually played with Rafael Palmero and Will Clark in Mississippi State University Bulldogs. They were animals. He was actually their cleanup hitter, which is hilarious. Then Ray Knight, Jerry Goff, Tony Phillips. Oh, this guy was a, he was an awesome leadoff hitter. Also had a little bit of a problem, but hey, then we have Jeff Keppinger. Oh, newer cards. Cliff Lee had a pretty pretty good career. Made a lot of money. Pitch for the Mariners, the Indians, the uh, the Phillies. And I think he ended up a couple other teams. Then we have Matt Stairs, the guy who looks. 
He looks just, uh, yeah, he's just a short, stubby guy, but can hit the crap out of the ball. Great, great uh, P, uh, pinch hitter. Chad Qualls, Tim Collins, Michael Kadire, whatever. Matt Lindstrom, Glenn Perkins, Tom Gorzolani, Trevor Bowers, that's going in the hit pile. It's not his rookie car, but it's definitely near there, so. And our hit is going to be, oh, it's two USA guys. Junior national team, Jeremy Blake, autograph. And another guy, Josh Tranquil. It's a double autograph. So at least that's kind of cool. It's a double autograph. It's the upper deck. Uh, okay, that's, that's loose with the hit, but I mean, that's a hit. It's a dual autograph card. That's pretty cool. Numbered to, uh, what, yeah, is it numbered uh, 74 out of 250? So that's a hit in their world. I mean, that's still, that's pretty cool. I mean, I'm going to get sleeved up already, which is great. So yeah, um, I have to look at all, like I always do, I'll put below where these guys landed. And now it's time for Topps 2019 opening day. Looks like it's the Dollar Tree pack because there's only seven cards in it. So we'll see what we get. I don't know what to expect in here. I know there's none of the good rookies in here. So 2019 Topps has been my friend and my enemy at the same time. Ripping packs, let's go. All right, we've got Edwin Encarnacion of the Mariners, who's now with the White Sox. Joey Gallo for the Rangers. Heimer Candelario for the Tigers. 150 years of fun, Ernie Banks. Way to go, Mr. Banks. Let's play too with those 150 years. And it's going in the hit pile, it's Ernie Banks. I mean, not a lot of hits. Justin Verlander for the Astros. We mentioned him earlier. And Odobo, uh, Odobo Herrera for the Phillies. I don't know where he's at. He kind of got into some trouble for being an ass to his girlfriend. And then Scooter Jeanette of the Reds. So, you know what? 100 cards, baseball, one pack, one and four contain a hit, and I got one of the four. The pack was balls, but hey, what do you expect out of any of this stuff? I got a couple PC hits. Um, the autograph, honestly, is that, and I don't think that's worth the $10 alone, $8, $10, whatever I paid for this. But was it fun? I don't know, ask yourself. Did I have fun? I had a little bit of fun. A little memory lane, if you will. Uh, but did we have fun? Yeah, we had fun. We ripped some stuff. We had fun with it. To hell with it. Thank you for watching Ripping Packs, What the F Wednesday. That subscribe button, you should have some fun as well. Click that. Yeah. That like button. You know, you should have some more fun. Click that. Yeah. That notification bell. You can have fun if you want. Click that. Do whatever you'd like. But as long as you're having fun, that's what matters. Thank you again for watching Ripping Packs. I'll see you tomorrow.